Hi guys, I'm making this video out of request and it's going to be about using the shrine in the Monster Rancher emulator. Normally you would uh, be able to stop the game and take out the CD and change it for another CD, like a physical CD, and it'll generate a monster off of that CD. For this, you're going to trick the emulator into thinking something similar. So, similar. Sim alert. So, what you're going to do is when it asks you to change your game or eject the CD, you're going to eject the ISO and then load up a, another ISO. So you're pretty much taking out the CD and switching it virtually. And it's going to act the same way with the, the, uh, with the game. So I'll show you for example. I'll do it without um, any, without changing the ISO at all. So this is saying insert another CD and press X. I'm not going to insert another CD. So this is what you get by default. And then I'll show you what you get differently if you use a CD properly. Alright, so now it says reinsert. I didn't take it out, so I don't have to reinsert it. And here it is. It should be a golem. By default, you should get a golem if you use the shrine and you don't change the uh, the CD. Um, I can actually speed this up. Oh, hold on. Yeah, there you go. Yep, there you go. There's the golem. Um... All right, now I'm going to show you, I'm going to get rid of this guy and then show you what happens when you change the ISO. And it doesn't matter to me. All right, so, um, hold on, I'm going to get rid of this guy at the market. All right, and now go back to the shrine. Okay, now when you try, okay, now it says insert another CD, right? So go to file, eject CD. Now go to insert CD image right here, and now you you're gonna need another ISO or another uh, another game file like a bin file whatever this is. So for this to work, um, I know a few of these do work, but um, a few of them don't. So I want to just make sure I, I get one that works. Uh, I'll try Final Fantasy Tactics. All right, so now that that's inserted, you wanna press. Uh, whatever button you have corresponding to X to read in the data now. Alright, now reinsert. So you want to eject CD again, insert CD image, and go back to Monster Rancher. Alright, so now if this worked, if that ISO worked, we should get something different than a golem. There you go. And we have a hair. So it read the data from that ISO pulled the hair off and now we have a hair instead of a golem. And uh, I'm sure you can get any monster this way. It would just uh, take you a while to search what ISOs give which monsters. Um, there might be like a list online somewhere. But uh, that's all you need to know. Uh, there you go. Thanks for watching.